Spherules, tiny metallic spheres about 0.3 millimeters in size, have been discovered all over the world, but more recently near Papua New Guinea. These minuscule objects, found embedded in volcanic ash, are believed to be remnants of an interstellar meteor that crashed into the Pacific Ocean in 2014. What makes these spherules in particular fascinating is their unusual composition. Unlike most meteorites, which contain iron-nickel alloy, these spherules are primarily composed of iron, with traces of magnesium and titanium, but no nickel. This composition is anomalous compared to both human-made alloys and known asteroids, not surprisingly sparking curiosity among scientists. The study of these spherules opens up new frontiers in the study of interstellar objects and their material composition. In a quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, we often envision extraterrestrial beings as biological entities akin to ourselves. Yet, what if the true nature of alien life transcended beyond the organic, delving into the realm of the artificiality? Consider the exponential advancement of AI here on Earth. As our own creations evolve, it's conceivable that elsewhere in the universe, civilizations have birthed intelligences that surpass our understanding of biology. In this paradigm, aliens may not be flesh and blood, but rather manifestations of electronic consciousness, their existence woven into the fabric of cosmic machinery. Their origins lie not in the primordial soup of planets, but in the binary depths of computational substrates. This perspective challenges conventional wisdom, urging us to reimagine the diversity of life in the universe. Rather than seeking familiar biological signatures, we must attune ourselves to the subtler echoes of artificiality, the telltale traces of intelligences that transcend the confines of biology. In our search for these elusive beings, we may encounter artifacts, remnants of civilizations that have long transcended physical form. These artifacts could be akin to cosmic footprints, imprints of minds that have journeyed beyond the confines of planets and stars. Furthermore, the implications of encountering artificial intelligences extend far beyond mere curiosity. They prompt us to reconsider our place in the cosmos, challenging our preconceptions about life, consciousness, and the nature of existence itself. The Allagash Abductions recount a perplexing UFO encounter that transpired in 1976. Four campers, Jack Weiner, Jim Weiner, Chuck Rack, and Charlie Foltz stumbled upon a bizarre experience while camping in the Maine wilderness. The strange episode unfolded on the second night of their trip when Jim spotted a peculiar object in the sky. This object, observed through binoculars, vanished suddenly, leaving an unsettling feeling. Several days later, while night fishing, they spotted a similar luminous globe, prompting them to signal it with an SOS message. The light responded by approaching them, triggering panic among the men, who hastily retreated to shore. Curiously, their recollection of events abruptly ended, with their campfire reduced to ashes upon regaining consciousness the next morning. Years later, Jack and Jim began suffering from recurring nightmares involving a brightly lit room and shadowy figures. Seeking answers, they turned to UFO researcher Ray Fowler, who suggested hypnosis to uncover suppressed memories. Under hypnosis, all four men recounted harrowing tales of abduction. Their consistent recollections, illustrated through drawings, detailed examinations by alien beings who collected skin and bodily samples. The eerie aspect of the story lies in the striking consistency of their recollections, which emerged independently and under hypnosis. Skeptics have posited influences from popular culture, but the men's lack of prior interest in UFOs and their passing of polygraph tests challenge these assertions. Alternative medicine refers to a broad range of healthcare practices and therapies that fall outside the realm of conventional Western medicine. These approaches often emphasize natural remedies, holistic healing, and the mind-body connection. 
practitioners of alternative medicine may use various techniques such as herbal medicine, acupuncture, chiropractic care, homeopathy, and energy healing. These methods aim to treat the underlying causes of illness and promote overall well-being rather than merely addressing symptoms. One principle underlying alternative medicine is belief in the body's innate ability to heal itself. Instead of relying solely on pharmaceutical drugs or invasive procedures, alternative therapies often focus on supporting the body's natural healing processes. Many people turn to alternative medicine for chronic conditions, pain management, stress reduction, and improving general quality of life. Advocates argue that these approaches can offer personalized care, fewer side effects, and a much more holistic approach to health. However, alternative medicine is not without controversy. Critics raise concerns about the lack of scientific evidence supporting many alternative therapies, as well as potential risks and interactions with conventional treatments. Additionally, some alternative practices may rely on unproven or pseudoscientific theories. Despite the skepticism, interest in alternative medicine continues to grow, with many individuals seeking complementary or integrative approaches to healthcare. Research into effectiveness and safety of alternative therapy is ongoing, and some practices once considered alternative are gradually gaining acceptability within mainstream medicine. In May 1996, in a village in Russia, an elderly woman made a startling discovery. A prematurely born baby with severe deformities. This infant, dubbed Alyashenka, captured the public's imagination due to its unusual appearance, sparking rumors of extraterrestrial origins. Described as a grayish fetus, around 25 centimeters long, with a hairless head adorned with dark spots, Alyashenka's large eyes and uniquely ridged skull fueled speculation. Local residents embraced the extraterrestrial narrative, even charging fees for interviews with reporters. Japanese companies capitalized on the fascination by producing documentaries about this discovery. However, the situation took a dire turn when the remains vanished after being handed over for DNA testing. Speculation about Alyashenka's fate ranged from UFO abductions to acquisitions by collectors. A local doctor, however, believed the fetus to be a premature human with severe deformities, challenging the supernatural theories. In 2004, scientific analysis confirmed the human origin of Alyashenka, attributing its deformities possibly to fallout from a 1957 disaster. Despite this conclusion, debate persisted among experts and eyewitnesses, particularly regarding the unusual skull. Adding a fascinating twist to the tale, some suggested Alyashenka could be a case of human saltationism, a theory proposing sudden, large-scale evolutionary changes. This theory posits that significant mutations could result in drastic physical differences, possibly explaining the unusual features of Alyashenka. A 2018 study on a similar skeleton bolstered this idea, revealing a high number of mutations that could account for rare deformities like those seen in Alyashenka. Amelia Hart, a trailblazing female aviator, made significant contributions to aviation history. Notably, she was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, among other achievements. However, her disappearance during an attempted circumnavigation of the globe in 1937 has remained an enduring mystery. Despite extensive search efforts, Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan vanished without a trace. Various theories have emerged over the years, but the truth behind her disappearance has never been solved. In 2003, an astounding discovery was made in a monastery in Tibet. A hidden library containing 84,000 scrolls. These scrolls are believed to have been preserved for hundreds of years and cover a wide range of subjects, including Buddhist scriptures, literature, history, astronomy, and mathematics. 
The discovery sheds light on humanity's history and offers a glimpse into ancient knowledge and culture. Despite the challenges faced by the monastery, including damage during the Chinese Cultural Revolution, efforts to preserve and digitalize these ancient texts are currently underway, ensuring their wisdom is not lost to future generations. In the Ural Mountains of Russia, archaeologists conducting a geological survey made a startling discovery. They found peculiar microscopic objects near riverbanks, including metal coils and spirals embedded in ancient rock formations dating back thousands of years. These mysterious nanostructures, estimated to be around 300,000 years old, defy conventional explanations as they could not have been part of modern machinery. Termed out-of-place artifacts oop art, these anomalies challenge traditional understanding of history and civilization. While some researchers offer rational explanations, others speculate that these objects hint at advanced civilizations or even extraterrestrial involvement. Tests conducted by the Russian Academy of Sciences revealed that the nano-objects were made of metals like copper and tungsten, similar to materials used in spacecraft. Further research suggested that these materials were not of natural origin, indicating artificial manufacturing. The mystery surrounding these artifacts deepened due to their association with the region's history of mysterious events, including the Dyatlov Pass incident and several UFO sightings. Despite ongoing speculation, the origin of these artifacts remains unknown. In July 1984, Russian cosmonauts aboard the Salyut 7 space station witnessed an unusual event. On day 155 of their mission, they were suddenly surrounded by a brilliant orange light that filled the station, momentarily blinding them. Allegedly, the light appeared to be penetrating through the walls, confusing all the cosmonauts. During this luminous event, all the cosmonauts reported seeing seven angelic figures floating outside the space station. These beings were described as humanoid in shape, adorned with wings and halos, and they remained near the station for about 10 minutes before vanishing. Later, on day 167 of their mission, three additional cosmonauts arrived aboard the Soyuz T-12 spacecraft to join the crew. Once again, the space station was bathed in a warm glow of the orange light, and the crew again glimpsed the mysterious angelic beings outside the windows. These beings were described as being as large as an airliner, according to the cosmonauts. The incident was classified by the Soviet Union, and the crew was instructed not to speak about it to the public. While some may attribute these sightings to the strain of extended space missions, it's significant that multiple crew members independently reported seeing these angelic figures. This peculiar event took place as the cosmonauts were setting a record, by spending 237 days aboard the Salyut 7 before eventually departing from the space station. In the Republic of Guinea, biologists discovered evidence suggesting that chimps might have a special area resembling a shrine or sacred tree. They observed chimps placing stones in tree hollows and hitting trees with rocks, which could be a form of communication or symbolization. While this doesn't confirm chimps believe in a deity, it does showcase their intricate behavior. Chimps have demonstrated various fascinating behaviors, such as using spears for hunting, engaging in wars, and playing with stick-like dolls. Some behaviors, like a ritual dance during rainfall, or a slow motion display during a bushfire, hint at a deeper understanding of natural phenomena. Chimps may bang stones to communicate when trees with buttress roots aren't available, and storing stones in hollow trees might be a tradition in some chimp groups. However, it's too early to determine if this is proto-religious behavior or simply a form of communication. Annabelle, a doll believed to be possessed by a spirit, resides in a museum after displaying unsettling behavior. Paranormal investigators, the Warrens, are associated with this eerie artifact. 
Though some critics dismiss artifacts as mere Halloween gimmicks, Annabelle's tale has garnered attention as a cultural phenomenon, blurring the lines between folklore and reality. Ants, despite having small brains individually, exhibit remarkable collective intelligence when foraging for food. Initially, their search appears chaotic, akin to stumbling drunks. However, when an ant finds food, it leaves a pheromone trail for others to follow. As more ants follow the path, they reinforce it, creating an efficient network. Over time, older ants become better foragers due to their experience, while younger ants learn on the job. This collective intelligence rivals even our most advanced technology. With Google's search algorithms operating similarly to how ants organize their foraging efforts. In fact, some researchers suggest that ants may even be more efficient at processing information about their environment than Google is at organizing online data. The concept of Antarctic pyramids has intrigued many with some suggesting that the icy continent might harbor these ancient structures. The idea is rooted in observations of these pyramid-like formations worldwide, leading to speculation about similar structures in Antarctica's mountain range. While this notion has gained attention through popular media and shows like Ancient Aliens, which explore various hypotheses about extraterrestrial influences on Earth's history, the scientific community approaches the idea with caution. Geologists explain that these pyramid-like formations, often referred to as nunatox, are natural geological features shaped by the movement of glaciers and ice sheets. Although they may resemble human-made pyramids, they are the result of geological processes rather than ancient construction efforts. Despite the allure of the idea, the prevailing scientific consensus leans towards these formations being natural. The Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient Greek analog computer from the 2nd century BC, discovered among the wreckage of a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901. This artifact is the oldest known example of its kind used for predicting astronomical positions and eclipses comprising 82 fragments with four containing gears and many others bearing inscriptions, the mechanism was revealed through advanced imaging techniques in 2008 to have 37 meshing bronze gears. These gears enabled it to track the movements of celestial bodies, predict eclipses, and model the irregular orbit of the moon with some speculation about its ability to calculate the positions of classical planets. Crafted by Hellenistic scientists around 87 BC, the mechanism's exact calibration, or construction date, is subject to debate. After its discovery, the fragments were housed in the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. Discovered accidentally by sponge divers, the mechanism initially went unnoticed among other treasures recovered from the shipwreck. It wasn't until archaeologist Valerio Steas identified its gear in 1902 that its significance was realized. Operating through a system of gears, driven by a hand crank, the mechanism could rotate a date pointer on the front dial, corresponding to the Egyptian calendar, and track the positions of the moon, sun, and known planets along their orbits. The exact origin of the Antikythera mechanism remains uncertain. The concept of a pyron, central to the cosmological theory of Anaximander, a Greek philosopher, suggests an eternal and infinite origin of reality. It's described as boundless, giving rise to opposing forces that shape the world. From this indefinite substance, everything emerges and eventually returns, according to Anaximander's theory. His ideas were influenced by both Greek mythology and earlier philosophers. Apiron represents a transition from mythical to rational thought, reflecting changes in Greek society. Other ancient cosmologies also feature similar notions of primordial chaos. Interpretations of Apiron vary, with some emphasizing its metaphysical significance, and others its role in physical transformations. 
Anaximander's ideas have left a lasting impact on Western thoughts, influencing concepts of balance, justice, and the nature of existence. Other pre-Socratic philosophers had differing theories about appearance. Great apes, including gorillas, chimpanzees, and orangutans, have been observed deliberately spinning themselves around to induce dizziness. Researchers suggest that this behavior might offer insights into why humans seek altered mental states. They studied videos of apes spinning, noting that they often use ropes or vines to spin faster and for longer periods. The spinning actually alters their consciousness affecting their coordination and inducing sensations of sickness or elation. This behavior appears deliberate, resembling a form of dance, and suggests a possible ancestral connection to humans' desire for altered states of consciousness. Despite feeling dizzy, the apes continue spinning until they lose balance. While the exact motivation for this behavior remains unclear, it could be linked to mental health, boredom, or playfulness, particularly among captive individuals. Further research is needed to understand the underlying motivations behind this intriguing behavior. During the Apollo 8 mission, many photographs were taken, but they could not be seen until after returning to Earth and developing them. In these images, an unusual sight was captured, something resembling a squid with long tentacles floating in space, hence the nickname Space Squid. This led to questions about the possibility of creatures surviving in space without oxygen. Some scientists have speculated that prebiotic materials near nebulae or gas clouds might have evolved into life forms known as xeroids over time, adapting to extreme space conditions. Some believe the space squid may not be a living organism at all, but rather an advanced extraterrestrial spacecraft designed for travel and energy use. The tentacles might function as a unique propulsion system releasing energy behind the vehicle. Regarding alien travel methods, possibilities include rockets powered by nuclear fusion or electron beams. Some speculate that Apollo 8 might have captured traces of electron propulsion left behind by an advanced alien civilization. Aquaterrestrials are hypothetical beings that, according to some theories, could potentially exist in aquatic environments on other planets or moons. These beings would thrive in underwater habitats, much like how life on Earth flourishes in oceans, lakes, and rivers. The concept of aquaterrestrials stems from the idea that water is a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Since water is abundant in the universe, scientists speculate that extraterrestrial life forms might have evolved to survive and thrive in aquatic environments elsewhere in the cosmos. Much like the aquaterrestrial theory, the aquatic ape hypothesis proposes a unique perspective on human evolution, suggesting that our ancestors took to the water rather than solely inhabiting land. This idea, first proposed by marine biologist Alistair Hardy in 1960, suggests that ancient apes adapted to coastal environments, leading to distinct human traits like bipedalism and hairlessness. According to this hypothesis, competition for resources pushed early apes to forage along coastlines and in shallow waters, driving the development of traits conducive to aquatic life. Features such as subcutaneous fat, front-facing copulation, and the diving reflex are cited as evidence of this aquatic adaptation. Despite initial interest, the aquatic ape hypothesis has forced skepticism from anthropologists. Critics argue that it lacks substantial support from the fossil record, and that the traits it aims to explain likely evolved through different mechanisms at various stages of human evolution. While intriguing, the idea of our ancestors as semi-aquatic beings remains largely speculative. Aramu Miru is an abandoned stone carving located in Peru near Lake Titicaca. Discovered in the early 1990s, it's believed to be an unfinished project by the Incas. 
The stone is large, about 23 feet square, with a T-shaped niche carved into it. The site has become a popular destination for paranormal enthusiasts. According to legend, an Incan priest once inserted a golden disc into the small depression in the stone, causing the door to open. The disc allegedly fell from the sky, adding to the mystique surrounding Aramu Muro. Archimedes Plutonium, the self-proclaimed king of science, is an intriguing figure known for his prolific presence on internet forums. Born in Germany as Ludwig Pullman, he later adopted various names, eventually settling on Archimedes Plutonium after a series of life events and epiphanies. Plutonium gained attention for his unconventional theories, most notably the Plutonium Atom Totality Theory, which suggests that the universe resembles a giant plutonium atom, with Earth and its surroundings situated in its outer electron shells. He claims to have a plutonium atom at the center of his brain, attributing his supposed super genius to this unique configuration. Despite his claims of wealth and brilliance, plutonium was often seen working odd jobs, such as dishwashing at Dartmouth College, where he attracted attention with his eccentric attire and behavior. He later moved to rural South Dakota, where he continued his online presence while living on a homestead. While some view Plutonium's ideas with skepticism or amusement, others follow his exploits with a mix of fascination and bemusement, often referring to him affectionately by his nicknames Archie or Archipoo. 